Hi everyone, and welcome back to All Things Frugal and Fabulous. Today I wanted to start off my video showing you uh, that I mentioned in yesterday's video the movies that we have gotten rid of. And um, yeah, so let's uh, show you. This whole thing was full of movies, and this thing was completely packed to the top. There was no space. There was like no space on top here or here and all of like every this wasn't even it, there was no space here like it was completely packed tight and I had even movies stacked in front here as well in all the rows so and these are the movies that we've decided to get rid of this time around and we have another well I have another cabinet or a cabinet a filing cabinet downstairs full of movies that we are currently selling and I just finished listing these ones so far on the site and I still have yet to list these so that is all for that right now also, I forgot to mention, we are getting rid of this little purple lamp as well. And I have the back of my car filled up with stuff that we're getting rid of as well. And basement full of stuff that we have yet to get rid of. But that is another story for another day. Alright, so you've seen my downsized movie collection. Uh, as for right now, and it'll probably get smaller yet. Um, I still have a few movies in my cabinet that I'd like to watch before I get rid of. But yeah, I, I wanted to start off this video by showing you that because I, today I wanted to talk about being content and how to be content and how not being content with what you have causes that kind of situation that I just showed you. Or a house full of stuff and still wanting more and still not feeling that fulfillment in your heart. So as I mentioned in pre previous video that I did on Sunday, I had mentioned that I have you know been dealing with depression my whole life and not only that with, along with depression I have anxiety so it's a tough road to be on and a lot of reasons why is because of my childhood and things that happened to me and you know I'm still dealing with a lot of those things but as I wanted to talk about as being what, what it has to do with being content is if you need to figure out what is making you unhappy? What the reasons are? What are those underlying reasons in your heart and that, you know, maybe you've locked out? Because I know myself, I've locked a lot of things out and I didn't even remember them. I thought they were just dreams. And then, you know, you kind of have to really let them come out so that you can deal with these issues. And maybe they're not as extreme or, you know, everybody's different. I don't know what you've gone through and all I know is what I've gone through and how I've had to deal with it. I'm not a doctor or anything, although I have seen, been seen by lots of doctors. I have had, but anyway, that is another story as well. What my point is, is that we can never be content unless we figure out what is making us unhappy and then deal with those issues because if we don't, and we just sit on top of them, and bury them, and just live with them, then this is going to happen, and you're never going to feel, feel fulfilled. Whether it's movies, or, you know, drinking, or going out all the time, or buying cars, or buying whatever it is that people are buying, and then, you know, they're just not content they have it, and then, you know, you get that really good 
high feeling like oh I remember how I used to feel bringing home you know two hundred dollars worth of movies and just feeling you know so giddy and happy and then a lot of them are still in the wrappers and or in the packaging I should say but then that doesn't last very long because why I was so unhappy was still there it didn't leave just because I went and spent money on videos and also for myself I know many people won't agree or maybe it's for me when I was not close with my relationship with God I no noticed that those were the times that I was really really depressed and had really high anxiety and um, so go by going to church and praying and you know and then dealing with my issues all of those kinds of things help to deal with that and me dealing with my issues that were making me really unhappy and unjoyful and wanting more trying to fill that void with whatever movies clothing um, going out to eat, just going out, period, spending money, and, you know, <laughs> honestly, none of that made me happy. It made me happy for a few minutes, and then I was right back to being really, really unhappy and sad. And so I don't, maybe there's other people out there that have, know what I'm feeling and know what I'm talking about, and to those people, you know, I'm here with you, I, I feel your pain, and... The only way that we can get out of it is if we deal with it and as hard as that was for me and I believe it it's the hardest thing for everybody anybody and that's why so many of us you know just bury it down and try looking for other things to fill that void and there's many things that people do to fill voids and you know a lot of them are not good for us and I have learned from my past mistakes and I now get him having anxiety from having too much stuff like that empty uh, little thing that I show you just having it empty is like a huge weight off my shoulder and every time I drop a load off at the thrift shop I feel a little bit lighter and a little bit less anxiety and you know, every time I clean out a space and it's a little less full, I feel better. And I, because I know that I don't need that stuff anymore to make me happy. And I know that it never did make me happy. And now I have the tools that I need to keep myself from spending that money. And that I'm not going to find my happiness in a store or on an online store or you know going by going out and I'm not saying to not go out and enjoy life that is not what I'm saying so I hope you don't mistake for what I'm saying is to just live at home and never go out and never have fun and get rid of all your things because <laughs> that's not what I'm saying at all I'm just saying you know find what is making you unhappy so that you can deal with it and then you can truly enjoy and find the things that do make you happy whether it's being with family or maybe you really enjoy going out to a movie so you can set aside money each month to go to a movie every month you know but if you it's going to a movie even if you're depressed or unhappy it's not going to make you're still not going to be happy when you come out of that movie so for me it was really important and by finding those demons in myself that I had to get rid of is truly and really honestly what has brought me to contentment within my life and just be living humble and just being relaxed and happy knowing less anxiety I should say and not having that heavy weight of depression on me every day so that's all i wanted to say for today i made this video because i wanted to you know shed some light on some of the things that happened to me and if there's other people out there that have can share those feelings maybe i can help somebody else 
not everyone has to agree with me and I'm not saying <clears throat> that what I'm saying is gospel. I just know from experience that this is what helped me. So if I can help somebody else, um, God bless you all. And I hope you enjoy this video. And I will all talk to you again. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.